It's February 11 and today is the International Day of Women in Science. Ang Pilipinas po ay may order of national scientists na pinapataw sa ilang may malalaking ambag sa larangan ng siyensya. Requirement na may PhD ka. At hindi lang to para sa mga nasa STEM. Social sciences such as history and sociology are part of this category. There are 42 national scientists so far and 11 of them are women. Part of this elite group is Encarnacion Alzona, who was the first Filipina to get a PhD from an American university. She was a historian. She taught in UP for over two decades, published historical books, and translated results works. She fought for a woman's right to vote and wrote extensively about the dignity of women. Fedel Mundo, who was a pediatrician, founded the first pediatric hospital in the Philippines and is known for shaping the modern child healthcare system in the country. She conducted pioneering research work in pediatrics while in active medical practice for over eight decades. There were many other women who may not have a national scientist title, but were definitely ahead of their time. Honoria Acosta Season was the first Filipina physician. She practiced obstetrics and gynecology. She introduced low cesarean section in the Philippines. Olivia Salamanca was the second Filipina physician. She kept a diary and wrote about the discrimination she felt while studying abroad. She was assigned to work in a hospital in Baguio and was one, if not the first in the country, to receive tuberculin to treat tuberculosis, the condition she died from at the age of 24. Maria Orosa was a pharmacist chemist who used her smarts to revolutionize the food industry. She introduced methods of canning and preserving our fresh produce and invented the banana ketchup. She created nutrient-dense food to help Filipino soldiers and prisoners of war. She died in the Battle of Manila in 1945. Teodula Kalau Africa was a Filipina chemist working for the National Coconut Corporation. She invented the nata de coco in 1949 as an alternative to nata de piña, another gel-like Filipino dessert produced since the 18th century. Her invention helped sustain the coconut industry after World War II. These ladies gained the respect of the scientific community and broke glass ceilings. As in, nagkalat sila ng bubog so that other aspiring female scientists can break through. What about?